Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 3 Game of Thrones with me Alpha Pa Omega and Prince or actually now the king I still think of him as a prince it's interesting King Rhaegar Targaryen so in the last episode uh, we have uh, not done all that much actually we've held the court uh, we have uh, given the order to upgrade uh, the walls in the red keep and our father has died. The mad king Aerys died in his 50, uh, or in his 50s. Well, he was actually exactly 50. Uh, but I made a decision uh, that we are going to rename uh, this uh, little fort that we have here, a uh, small castle, uh, into... Uh, well... Uh, it would be Iris. No, how would we need the finger of Iris? Iris's finger it would be like this. Short name. Okay, so the finger of Iris, Iris's finger. And customize title. I hope I'm doing this correctly. Yes, the finger of Aris. So a actually let's name it the finger of King Aris. We are going to honor him uh, this way so that we have a memory of him. He might have been a crazy king. Damn. Finger of King Air. Well, let's do it this way. Maybe that way it won't be shortened. Yeah, Finger of King Aris. And we're going to invest in it a bit. We could maybe build the hill forts or a hill farm later or something like that or militia camp. Uh, this will forever now be known as the Finger of King Aris in his memory. We cannot uh, give him a royal um, burial, but we can certainly name a fort after him. Or one gain trained experience in the novice physician trade. You are still a novice physician. That is such a shame. And Queen Liana is pregnant again. She's only 28. So she still can give us a number of children. Going to Small Harbor has been built in Vicenia Hill, which is the level one. Fishing the Weaver. Yeah, these ones are pretty good. So, yes, you can petition me and pay your homage. So, uh, that was one thing that I wanted to mention. And the next one is that we can actually choose our fascination. And I forgot about that. Now, the issue here is um, that I was a bit confused about uh, what it is. And it is actually the tradition uh, which I or innovation they call it innovation so the innovation in this uh, is called passive fascination and we are currently working on the rightful ownership but I'm gonna go with the machiculations because we are certainly uh, interested in upgrading the walls and defenses of the red keep so this goes well in line with it so this should give us access to new defensive buildings I'm not sure if it is going to change anything because we seem to have access to quite a lot of things um, or if we will never reach that area uh, that we could actually uh, needed but uh, still King Aris might be interested in this especially after the uprising he might be I mean he is a rough terrain expert so hills mountains and what that's a bit weird but okay I, I'm still going with it we already started with the walls so that might be his um, his legacy for us we can join Lord Perkins's hunt. Where the hell is that? Wait. Well, that's not that far, but this time we are going to go a little early. So let's give it 20 days before. Supporting mercenary negotiations, okay. 
So at about the end of the month we are going to join the hunt. Schemer discovered the loathsome fiend against the knight Prendus. Who is our antiquarian? No? Okay now yeah, 20 days, so let's give it a couple more days and we're gonna go. Again, no danger here. 129% speed. Damn, okay, so we are fearless, so when you look at it, it says 38 days. But here it tells us... Yeah, okay, so, no, we should be fine, okay, estimated the rival, I can't wait. Hmm. It's kind of weird, I still, you know, I'm, I could rewatch the video of what I did wrong, but I think it was just that we got delayed on the route and we were way too close. Okay, a scheme is discovered. Yep, we made it. So now we're waiting for the start in 15 days. Yeah, you can see we still, you know, we went slightly slower than we expected. Hunter is the Lord Robert. Mighty boar. Master Donald assembles the party as the sun rises over the hunting grounds nestled in Bronze Holmes wilderness. The local gamekeepers have scoured the vicinity for recent tracks and fumes. There is clearly a stout boar in the area. Dangerous but worth a game. Ultimately, Lord Perkin decides he wanted to hunt the board today. So let's get out there. It's gonna be fairly dangerous, and there's not a lot of us. My vassal, Renfred, is crouched down on the ground, humming cheerfully, picking orchids. He appears to have lost all interest in the hunt. King, what a bounty of nature! Success chance decreases. So it increases hunter trait experience. Get back on your horse. We're intelligent, so we definitely won't think that's a witchcraft, but unfortunately we get stressed on the hunt <laughs> because people are picking up flowers. That That's a bit weird. Okay, another scheme has been discovered. 60% chance. And we can unlock the next perk. Yeah, and we can't. So we need to finish both of them. I thought so, but you never know. So courtship. We're going to get romance, elope, scheme powers, plus 30%, and success chance, plus 30%. Next one is promising prospects. Which, you know, is not all that bad. And then loyalty and respect. Cornering the boar. My vassal Master Dono is the first to spot its sharpened tusks. The powerful boar is hard to distinguish, but there's no doubt it's there, observing us through the leafy bushes. Let's go! My daughter, Alisan. Um, do we already have Raya? I don't think so. We have Renis, Raya. Okay, Ra is nice Shira. Okay, it's gonna be the next one. Aira. Okay, I actually like that one. Princess Aira. Quick, beautiful, and pure blooded. It's she's of pure bloodline. Interesting. And we watch for the boar from our concealed bowline, tensing with anticipation as the fosher's cries and baying hounds grow wilder. Lord Perkin carefully takes aim as the boar charges towards us, trotters pounding the dirt. The arrow sails past it, the boar quickly turning and disappearing into the leafy bushes. Unlucky. The beast escaped. So we failed. We lost 54 stress, gained the trade Hunter. Oh, that's for Lord Perkin, okay, for us. 
Every participant gained 187 prestige. Finished a hunt. Well, we didn't gain anything, I guess, from it. I found it increased our hunter. Didn't it? The hunter trait. Nope. I guess we have to organize it to gain anything from it. Okay, and once we get back, I'm going to do two things. We are going to invest into um, the small harbor in Dragonstone. No, we gained free trade experience in Horse and 11 in Wanderer. Oh, wow, actually, that's expensive. Trade port costs 250. We are known for dedication to our faith. Hillside farms. We could upgrade those, but we want to in improve the ports. So let's wait for the port. And Ophulfeld, Oswell, 56, died of heart failure. Well, bring me the greatest. Now let's ask the powerful lords to send me their options, but I don't think they will. We already saw that doesn't work. Yeah, none of these would do it. The game doesn't... We probably don't even have any. That's the issue there. So the men at arms we have here. So we're going to wait for the port and then the next investment is going into the armored horsemen. We want to have them stationed at the red keep because the... Uh, the bailey is going to give us a bonus to them. Heavy cavalry. Is it giving just bonuses to heavy cavalry? Yep, it is. Greetings, my thoughtful leash. I arrived to Red Keep to pay homage to you. Hey, he brought us money. Your loyalty is all that matters. We do not care for your blunders. So Dragonstone Small Harbor is going to get upgraded to Fishing Net Weavers. A humble harbor sits at the shore, allowing ships to load and load on and off their cargo without much effort. And the next one is Fishing Net Weavers. A workshop where fishing nets are woven has been set up here. Day in and day out, the nets are made and repaired tirelessly. Next one will be a trade port. Shiprides, Expanded Dogs, Shipyards, Grand Port, and Dry Dogs. So let's upgrade the Fishing Net Weavers. <laughs> I want to try something. Where is my faith? Biorhythm, it should be. Ah, here it is. So, High Septon the Stalwart one. Can I ask him for money? Grant independence. Oh, for knighthood. No. Ha, huh, okay, so this guy probably can't even. Okay, so Biorhythm does not offer that option, it seems. We could escape the summer hall, but. Well, actually, you know what? We're, we're solitary, so let's just go. Off I go. So we spent a bit of prestige and lost stress, which we didn't have, but we rested. And can we send poem to our wife that we wrote for her there? Nope. Unavailable until 10th moon. Okay. Inspired person can be sponsored. He wants to weave inspiration. Actually, can the brushes... I just realized maybe there's something that can be... Ah, uh, okay, so these are supposed to be put here. I thought those were... Okay, I didn't realize that my mistake. I thought that those were... And a renowned stag skull. I thought those were personal artifacts, but they are throne room artifacts. Inspirational wife. We gained Shiverless Spouse, which 
gives us advantage. Addition taxes, nice! We gain the money, which means we can create... Oh, we can, 180. Okay, we still need a bit more. Well, it's not gonna take much longer until we can actually get what we need. Rennes comes of age. Always the curious and knowledge hungry child, Rennes has shown an affinity for scholarship from an early age. An avid learner, she has become quite the purveyor of knowledge and has proven herself fully capable of structuring advanced theoretical and theological arguments. She is an astute intellectual, really nice, and she is betrothed to Prince Aegon who is pensive, content, callous, and cynical, handsome, quick, and squire. Greetings, my handsome liege. So let's re receive him. Gain court grandeur, and now we should have... No, oh, already we got the money. So we get them? Do we get them a little early? Or the Monofort? Yeah, we get them on the 24th. That's actually interesting. I didn't realize that before. Okay, so now we can create and the regiment of armored horsemen. Let's create those. And you guys are now going to be stationed at Visenia Hill instead. And you guys will be stationed at the Red Keep. I think Visenya is giving them something as well, right? Concept of power. No, but we could build the barracks for them there. It makes sense. Greetings, my thoughtful liege. My entourage and I have just arrived. So let's see him. Petition. Thank you for seeing me, my liege. I come to you today with an urgent request. A malady of discontent prevails in my land. My word, I am certain an imperial wizard would help. Ah. Yeah, he was the opinion when we asked for money. We just got to building up a new regiment and you ask us for this. Schemer discovered the wild fiend. The finger of King Eris. Grand Tour. The map. My spies have informed me about a hunter causing a ruckus at the local tavern. The man has been spending a large amount of gold and bragging loudly about the great deal he struck with a fancy lord in perils and silk. Apparently he drew a map of the local for an unknown nobleman. The spies think the world must be scheming against me or one of my subjects. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. More vigilant. They did belongs in my dungeon. We imprison him. He's a traitor. Yep, let's imprison him. Oh, and we lost our scepter. What happened to her? Oh, old age. Yeah, she's 69. So, uh, wait. Where do we have prisoners? You would ransom yourself. But no, you're gonna go banish. He's gonna pay money to us and go to the wall. You will not... No, we're just gonna banish you. The wall needs you, and men like you. Farewell. A scheme at the court. Fabricate a hook on Horas. So, I think we're gonna go on a hunt. Because we have been working heavily overseeing constructions left and right. So, yeah, you guys are at 
25. Okay, that's pretty good. And can we go 145? I always forget how expensive it is. We could plan it now, but... And I would like to hunt something that's going to be a bit more dangerous. Do we are content, but also brave. Hmm. Acquire me regent. Lord Paramount Allen. No. Prince Aegon of the Iron Throne. Thank you for paying homage. Oh, he's ill. He's not gonna die. That would make Prince Viserys our next heir. Kingsguard caught flagrant. My liege, your Kingsguard Jonathor has disco was discovered in their chambers entertaining Joanna. <laughs> well, chuck him in the dungeon where I can decide what to do with him. Chop off his member and send him to the man bears. Eunuch, recently castrated. We are not cruel, but obviously this is not what he's supposed to do, so strip him of his white cloak. Jonathor has been... Oh, and we are missing two King's Guards now. Surety of Supply. I pride myself of making sure everything is always accounted for, which includes making sure my soldiers are well provisioned. To this end, I should come up with a plan for ensuring my soldiers always have the supplies they need in the field. So this is a... Okay, arrange a network of merchants to help me. Well provisioned armies. Or we pay. Or my soldiers can forage. Let's uh, have a stewardship challenge. And we got it. A dependable network. After going through realms or after going through reams of financial ledgers, I was able to pick out a group of merchants scattered around the countryside which I knew would be dependable. I made an offer to keep them on retainer to provide any supplies my army needs at the moment's notice. They will ensure my commanders will always know who they should go to when they need provisions. They will reliably supply my armies in the field. Or now to skim a little off the top. Well, we could invest this money into building the new barracks here. So let's actually do that. We're gonna instead build the barracks in Visenya Hill. And we can also go on that hunt now. And we have a son, Ennis. Uh, but someone actually mentioned, and I forgot who that was, but someone mentioned that we should name our son Wait, where's my family? Uh, I wanted to check that. So we had just one sibling. Hmm. Yeah, we should name him. I, someone mentioned that we should name him Rhaegar, because there was always an Aegon and Rhaegar. So, let's name you after me. If I remember that correctly. I hope I haven't botched that one up. <laughs> and now let's go on that hunt that we wanted to do. Uh, we're gonna go hunt. But where? Well, there's a really good place down here. Roll buff. Hollow's Edge. Okay. We will have... Fushing gangs, but on an intimate party. So 160 we can do that. And we have a... Okay, so we need a mountaineer and we need a 
forest guide. Yep. So let us start the hunt. A fresh start. So let us hope that this will be successful. A scheme at court. The existence of murder Bellis scheme is exposed. Someone is plotting. Okay, we don't know who. Hybrid culture formed. Okay, so this is happening. High Chieftain Gorn has formed the Night Runner Hornfoot Hybrid Culture. You're beyond the wall, right? Yeah. Far beyond the wall. Wow, actually almost completed at the north. Okay. 21 days until it begins. So who's with us? Arthur Dane, Lord Lewis of Longgrass, Prince Doran. Elegant prey. Lord Boris assembles the party as the sun rises over the camp in the woodlands near Hollow's Edge. My many gamekeepers and flushers have been pouring over the area for tracks and fumes. The group is a nuisance, scavenging from farms and retreating deep into the woods. Boris shrugs. No matter, a fight the lynx can still give mighty good sport. Let's get out there. We will seek the lynx. We'll corner a trickle trick hare instead. I came to hunt a stag. Uh, okay, let's hunt the lynx. I don't mind that. To ensure knowledge with Lord Lewis. My vassal Howard is crouched down on the ground, humming carefully, picking geraniums. He appears to have lost all interest in the hunt. Um, chance decreases slightly. Fascinating. Let's go with what are these flowers. Uh, so maybe we can learn something. Poachers here in the Lord's Wood, they huddle together as I ride up with my guard, making a poor job of hiding the dead stag behind them. We did not do this. Please have mercy, glorious king. Their blades and bows bury their words. They will hang and their villagers will pay. Oh, they will hang and their villages, not villages, their villages. You all seem to be excellent bowmen. Again, poacher training. The animal is mine, along with fines for the wives. Success chance increases slightly. Get out of Robin's woodland. They will hang. I wish I could imprison them. Local magistrates acquiesce. Popular opinion. The county is upset over the way it has been treated for the actions of a handful of poachers. Popular opinion is lowered. Um, least poachers. We're not, we're not merciful, we're not anything in that regard. So... I guess this one would be great. But it re No, let's hang them. I guess that's... I mean, they're poachers. My vassal, Lord Paramount Tewin, spot spots the lynx watching us from afar. After it, we ride. Try to corner the lynx. Steady, mind the brook. This way, we had it off. This is crazy. Every option is going against us. So either we ride after it, but that's an issue because we are content, or we s stay here, <laughs> but that's an issue because we are brave, <laughs> or we get super stressed because we try to ambush it. So let's just go after it. <laughs> that's crazy. 
As we reach the top of the hill, my hunting party finds a dark cave that seems practically endless. Around its entrance are unmistakable signs of a lynx. No doubt, a lynx or even a group of lynxes calls this place home. If we wait here until nightfall, we will almost definitely find our prey. Then we shall wait. Or we can track it based on this. Yeah, let's track it. That actually removes 54 stress because we are brave and diligent. I mean, 99% chance to do it right. After hours of riding, we are finally cornering the Willow Beast. Our chase has not been in vain. Whether tired or defined, the lynx at last halts, turns towards us, and lets out an almighty scream. The huntsmen quickly surround the growing animal which glowers at me, its bare fangs frothing and dripping with saliva. I will shoot it. I will bring it down myself. Spears, ready. Forward. Unleash my hounds. I want it alive. Link scout trophy course after fuck. We gain captive beast. Beast is captured. Random participant is injured or dies. No, let's shoot it. That's the best one. I take aim as the party keep and uh, keep the exhausted animal in place. Exhale and moves. The arrow strikes true. So we did it. A success on our second hunt. Hunts like these are a pure joy. I cannot wait for the next year. There is nothing like the thrill of bringing down a mighty beast. Prince Doran directs the breaking up, carefully skinning the carcass with directions from the game master. So, its lush pelt will be an excellent conversation piece. So we will stress, we gain free experience in Venator and 900 prestige. And we got renowned Lynx Hide. So, overall, we gained the Lynx Hide. We gained a bit of skill in Hunter. Trade and 10 trade experience. We lost 18 stress because we are solitary. And everybody gained 20, ex uh, 20 opinion of me. Finish the hunt. Overall, a great success. A foreign treat. It's not the first time I catch my courtier Gerald fiddling around with some flowers he's been picking along the road. Sometimes I swear I even hear him singing, sighing, overlooking how the cross holding. My liege, he says, when he notices that I've been observing him. It's not a secret that my heart has found a new home far from home. Alas, my liege, my soul aches for Shireen. You can go. And we arrived. We have 117 gold. So I think the last thing that we're gonna do here is actually invest into a building here. Hill forts. Ditches, stockades, guard houses, external walls, large hill forts, complete. Kind of hill farms, hunting grounds, barracks, winter lodges, workshops, trade port, apiaries, and godsmen. Now let's build the hill forts in the finger of King Ares. Because we're gonna want this one to be a decent fort protecting our uh, northeastern flank. And the last event of the episode, the Beast of the Red Keep. My king huffs Garrigus as he marches up to me, hauling my son Viserys by his ear. This dreaded child has been lying in wait around the corners, wearing a lynx skin for a costume, only to jump out screaming and scaring the living daylights out of people. This is honestly just bloody hilarious. <laughs> uh, Viserys, you need to be punished. You harass my son, your exile. I really profoundly do not care. Uh, I actually honestly think this is bloody hilarious. I know this might not be 
I've never diligent, but uh, I think we kind of enjoyed a good joke. So let's just go with this is bloody hilarious. Uh, so let's just display... Uh, let's just display where can I... I always forget where I... Yeah, here it is. Royal Court. Uh, oh god, I have to deal with that. So what's that? I know I ought to be thankful that our guest Aegon appears to get along well with Viserys. But there's something in how the two interact that worries me. Their smiles are of the kind that lifelong friends or devoted lovers share. They unabashedly act as if they are the only ones in the room, blithely leaving me out of that conversation. Just what is in the relationship and what should I do about it? Aegon and Cerys Targaryen. Uh, what? No, whatever. Yeah, I'll stay out of it. They can do whatever they want. Uh, and what I wanted to do was... Spike of interest in each other peters out to how it was before. Sure, okay, so nothing happened in the end. So we're gonna display the lynx carcass. Or what is it? Renowned lynx hide. And get the prestige bonus for that. So, thank you very much for joining me. This has been a good episode. We're uh, upgrading uh, the Finger of King Ares. Uh, we are not upgrading currently Visenia Hill. No, we are. There's the wooden barracks being built there. So, upgrades in the Finger of King Ares, barracks in Visenia, Redkeep is building the Bailey, and I think we're also investing in Dragonstone, are we not? Yeah, we're building uh, the fishing net weaver. So we're actually, we should be known as Rhaegar the Builder, but we're Rhaegar the Wolf. And we're going to continue with our construction projects. I don't know if you guys uh, think these are worth it, but I like them. So let me know. Until next time, you guys take care.